Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to start learning Spring Boot. I am starting the Spring Boot series where I will be coming up with more videos to help you understand Spring Boot in details, step by step from theory to hands on. Spring Boot is in huge demand in enterprise market. Currently, most of the tech companies, be it service based or product based, all are using Spring Boot for their application development. But before you go ahead and learn Spring Boot, I would highly recommend that you should have the basic knowledge of Spring IOC, Dependency Injection, Spring MVC, because that is the base of Spring Boot. Video link for these topics has been given in the description below. Now, what is Spring Boot? Spring Boot has two parts. Spring and Boot. Spring is a very powerful and flexible and huge framework which helps you or the developer to develop simple to most complex enterprise Java applications using its wide variety of modules. On the other hand, Boot is Bootstrap. So Spring Boot is the sub-module of Spring which helps you bootstrap a simple Spring application. According to Spring Boot official website definition, Spring Boot makes it easy to create a standalone production grade Spring based application that you can just run. Now let's break this definition and understand the feature of Spring Boot and why we prefer Spring Boot over Spring. Number one, standalone Spring app means Spring Boot have embedded web server like Tomcat, JT, etc. On top of which, you just need to run the jar file as standalone application to deploy and start your app. So no need to deploy your war file or create the same or configure web server like any other simple Spring application. Number two, production ready which means it is not only a simple hello world project but one spring application which can be run in prod without doing anything extra along with that this will provide you health checks metrics which will be much more helpful to know about your application in details in the production environment now the phrase just run according to me this phrase itself tells us two main feature of spring boot number three Convention over configuration and number four opinionated So what is convention over configuration if you have created any spring application without using spring boot You would have known that how much time consuming and painful the configuration for a simple spring application can be Especially when you are including spring MVC spring JP or spring ORM but in case of Spring Boot, if you follow their convention, then you will get all the default configuration itself. So this feature, convention over configuration, only makes Spring opinionated. Which means you just start with its default configuration and make changes if you require. But how you are getting it? Number five, starter dependencies. Unlike Spring, no need to worry about version compatibility issues in Spring Boot. Just mention the version of Spring Boot starter parent along with all the starter packs that you need for your application. Then you are good to go. Number six, automatic configuration of Spring or third party library. Just mention those dependencies that you want in your application like Postgres, MySQL or Spring Data JPA in your pom.xml. Spring Boot will scan the class path and do all the default configuration for you like setting username, password for your database and everything. Even if you want to change those, you can do it using application.properties. Number 7. Zero Java or XML configuration. Get rid of all XML or Java configuration only by using at the rate Spring Boot application annotation along with the main method. All the features that I have mentioned makes the development much faster and easier. Also removes all the boilerplate code in Spring application. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. It means a lot. I will catch up with you guys in my next video. Till then, keep learning with pride.